Writing ratios of three quantities in simplest form. Let's look at two examples to illustrate what it means to be in simplest form. First, example A. I have 5 to 2 to 7. When I want to decide if this ratio is in simplest form, I have to ask myself, is this ratio, the numbers in this ratio, are all of the numbers divisible by the same common factor? If I think about 5, 2, and 7, I would say there are no common factors. Because of that, this ratio is in simplest form. However, if I think about the next example, part B, I have 12 to 16 to 8. I want to ask myself, what is the greatest common factor of all three of these numbers? In this case, I can tell that I can divide all of these terms by 4. So if I divide 12 over 4, 16 over 4, 8 over 4, my new ratio becomes 3 to 4 to 2. Now I ask myself again, can I divide any of these numbers by the same common factor? No, I can't, so now it's in simplest form. One thing I want to illustrate here is what happens if you can't find out right away what the greatest common factor is. Let's say you were looking at 12 to 16 to 8, and you knew right away, okay, I know they're all divisible by 2. Well, let's do that. Let's divide all the terms by 2. Now my ratio is going to be 6 to 8 to 4. Okay, so now I've reduced this ratio. Now again, I ask myself, is this in simplest form? And I could see, no, it's not in simplest form. I could divide all of these new numbers again by 2. And when I do that, I now get 3 to 4 to 2. This is the same answer that I ended up getting when I had my 3 to 4 to 2, and I reduced it by 4. So it'll be longer if you have to reduce it more than once, but you'll eventually still get to the same answer.